In this video, I'm going to introduce you to this game changer. That means you can replace these 60 mil pumps with a brand new 40 mil setup. Alright guys, Pat here from Aeroflow Performance. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you to a awesome little product that we've just developed. Um, this is going to allow you to upgrade from the traditional 60 millimeter pump when you've got it in one of our dual pump surge tanks to your 40 mil pump. So something like our um, 450s or the 525s or other similar uh, brands that have that 40 millimeter body size. So it's going to be a nice and easy upgrade to get rid of that old tech and chuck this new tech in. So where did all this come from, right? These, uh, these surge tanks have been extremely popular. Um, they're a dual, you can run single or dual, uh, 60 millimeter pumps, so like your Bosch 044 style uh, fuel pump, which has been around forever. It's an awesome pump, it's got its place in the market, but things are just moving on a little bit. Like everything these days, newer technology means that we can have a far more efficient pump that doesn't heat the fuel as much, pumps at a higher rate and keeps your, keeps your fuel cooler uh, and is delivering more pressure, more volume uh, for the same, uh, basically for the same pinch when it comes to uh, power wise, you know, amp drawer and things like that. Uh, so going to the 40 mil is ideal. While we still sell plenty of these, plenty of these tanks, we thought it'd be nice to be able to put a 40 mil pump in it. So you can go from you know, a pump that's rated to roughly 600 horsepower at the flywheel on regular fuel to something that's rated up to 700 horsepower on ethanol uh, at the flywheel, which is you know, something like your 525 litre per hour pump. Uh, these tanks um, traditionally have held the 60 millimetre pump or the 044, sits in the top there, this ring goes on top, it's got no ring that seals it and holds it in. So the pump is partially submerged. What we've done is made this cradle so that we can mount a 40 millimeter pump. Put that back over there. We can mount a 40 millimeter pump in the same location with its own terminals. So if you're running two of these, as you can see here, you've got individual terminals, which makes it easier to stage those pumps. So just like the the 60 mil pump, which has the terminals on it, you can still have that same staged application. So this basically just drops in. You'll be removing this plug to put, uh, to put circle connectors on the end there onto the terminal. But just for the example, we'll tuck it in. That just drops in there. It's got a nice Viton O-ring to seal it sit it into the space. Make sure you use, obviously we're just doing a demonstration so I haven't lubricated that O-ring. Make sure you put a small amount of lubricant in there so we don't pinch an O-ring when you install. That unit drops down and then the same as always, this ring just goes straight back over the top. You bolt the collar down and that'll lock the pump module or the adapter into place and you're ready to go. There's a dash six AN fitting on the top here. The two terminals, it's as simple as that. Like it's so easy to put it in. The only thing that you've got to figure out when you're putting the pump in is the uh, position of the pump. So the length of the hanger, just to make sure that you can, uh, just to make sure that you can get it all the way down into the bottom of the tank and the socks in the appropriate position. So I'll just step over this adapter with the pump rigged up on it. As you can see at the top, two bulkhead terminals. Uh, with Teflon washers and O-rings, so it prevents any, any leakage. AN6 outlet, which is the matching internal diameter of the outlet of the pump itself. So it's basically a 3 8 outlet. Um, the dash 6 is going to be plenty. You can step it up if you want to run larger lines or whatever you need to do. You can step that up if need be. The adapter kit does come with this Teflon in-tank hose, so PTFE in-tank hose. So it's that short length, which we've made the length to suit what we believe is the correct position for the, 
for the fuel pump. You can adjust that, you can shorten it up, you can use a longer piece, whatever you like to do to suit your application, but we find the length of that Teflon hose, once clamped on and attached to the pump, is in the right position. The locking ring here, or the collar for the fuel pump, is adjustable, as I mentioned, so you can change that around. Um, aside from that, there's not much else that you need to know. As I did mention, the plug that comes on the pumps, you'll have to chop that off and just put two ring terminals uh, on it for the ground and the positive uh, on the uh, for the electrical side of things. And remember to put your sock on uh, the filter on the bottom of there and just drop it into the tank. It couldn't be easier. That's basically if you've got this original surge tank, whether it's under car or in the boot or whatever you need, that's that set up. We've also decided to do a single and dual welding ring to suit these fuel pump adapters. Now, this will be so if you're going to make a custom tank, something that's going to fit in a specific spot that's going to work for your project or your application, or even if you've got a factory steel tank and you're going to convert it from, uh, say, a carby setup or a low pressure. Uh, low pressure uh, EFI setup. You can weld this ring on and then you've got the collar and the O-ring that's ready to accept that adapter. So you can then drop a high pressure EFI fuel pump into your tank, whatever it may be. Um, you've got the outlets, you've got the terminals. The only thing you would probably need to then use is our return adapter, which we've done in another video. I might link that below that you can then drill and put into your factory tank. Um, but if you're making a custom setup, you just put your weld-ons to suit your application. But those weld rings are now in stock as well as the adapter. All right, guys, now you know all about these brand new adapters. Get out, upgrade the fuel system, go for a little bit more power, uh, go for a more efficient system, and we'll see you on the next one.